excited to be sharing with you guys another project. Uh, today I will be sharing some techniques to create a easy mixed media background. I apologize for the little raspiness in my voice. I have allergies really bad and I wanted to do a voiceover so that I can explain some of the techniques to you guys instead of just you know, displaying uh, text on the video. I know a lot of you guys appreciate the voiceover so you don't have to watch the full video and read everything that's going on. So bear with me and let's get started. I am using some Maja Designs paper and I will have a link down below to their website. I begin uh, using some heavy body gesso or heavy gesso and kind of creating where I want to put all of my elements. So just kind of washing out the background. And then on top of that, I add some clear gesso to the full page. And you can see here, I'm just wiping some of that off just to kind of, um, I don't know, give it a more whitewashed look rather than a stark white background. When you are uh, creating a mixed media background, layers and textures are key. You don't have to have a ton of bulk on your projects, just layers of different textures and mediums. The stamps I'm using are from Prima Marketing, but you can also use any different you know, stamps that you have. As long as they have like a script or some kind of cool texture to them and you can also use household items like bubble wrap or I've even uh, crumpled up tissue paper and kind of stamped that way. You don't have to have all sorts of different stamps and stuff to create this, uh, this mixed media look. So I'm adding the spray and I will have all the links to all the products I'm using down in the description. This video was more for uh, beginners that need a little bit of uh, walkthrough when creating a mixed media background. So another thing that I like to do uh, when creating a mixed media background is add uh, texture paste or modeling paste. I like to use light paste. So I have a Prima stencil and you of course don't have to use stencils Again, find household items that have cool, um, you know, ways that you can add the modeling paste. I saw somebody using a metal spatula from the dollar store to create a really cool uh, textured background. So again, use your imaginations and you don't have to have a ton of supplies to create a really cool mixed media background. So I'm again, I'm just adding some sprays and it's all about layering. If you are new to mixed media and you're trying to build up your supplies, I suggest getting some of the Prima uh, water soluble oil pastels. You get 24 colors and then you can also blend the colors together to create your own colors. And I believe they're $20 for a pack of 24. So you get a lot of bang for your buck. So to create more texture, I like to splatter on the color. So if you're using a paintbrush with paints or your sprays or whatever, just splatter, 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 and it just ends up creating a nice textured look. And then you can also add a little bit of water to kind of get the uh, color flowing a little bit and then add more splatters on top of that. Adding different colors and shades of the same color and colors that go together will add a lot of depth to your project. And you might think that I am just, you know, covering up all of the steps that I did before, like the stamping and, you know, the gesso and everything. It all ties in to the finished product, I promise you. So all of the stamping and the modeling paste and all the different sprays and splatters and everything it all creates a lot of interest in your project i ended up not liking all of that mixed media background i wanted to kind of tone it back a little bit so what i did was i just tore some papers and again this is the maja design paper and i wanted to get some papers that had a lot of uh, texture in it and kind of just image little images and stuff 
And what you want to do is just layer them on top of each other. This just creates another layer of interest to your project. And I am adding clear gesso to these papers because I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing. I don't know if I'm going to be spraying them or adding more uh, modeling paste or whatever. So it's just to prep the page so that I can add um, different mediums to it. So I ended up stamping to kind of just tie in all of the papers with the background. And that's important when you're layering papers. You want to make sure that it all ties in together because I didn't want these papers that I layered on top of all this, uh, you know, all the different mediums to just have nothing on it. So um, again, it's just all about layering and just adding different textures. And I added a little bit more splatters on top of there. And here I'm just going to uh, add some music while I add all of my embellishments. And I, again, I apologize for my voice and I hope that you guys enjoyed and I hope that I helped at least one of you out in uh, taking the leap into mixed media. I know a lot of you guys say that you're scared and you don't know where to start, but I hope that this helped you out just a little bit. Even if you do one of these techniques, um, I cannot wait to see what you guys create. And thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the this project. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You can also share this video with your friends on social media. It really helps me out. You can also find me on Instagram. The link is down below. I love connecting with you guys and sharing photos and ideas and I love getting inspiration from you guys as well. If you create a project inspired by this video or any of my other videos, tag me on Facebook or Instagram. I love to see what you guys create. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Bye.